A scene from the 1999 supernatural thriller, The Sixth Sense. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. <laughs> a movie about a little boy who sees and hears people who have passed on to the other side. So it's almost like living that movie. I too was you had the departed coming into my bedroom at night and you know trying to get me to pass on messages to those who had passed on. 23-year-old Matt Fraser calls himself the medium with a message and he compares himself to the character of that little boy in the sixth sense. You know, I was scared. I was only three, four years old and having all these people coming to me wanting to pass messages. And, you know, here I was, you know, pulling the covers over my head. I didn't want to see. I didn't want to hear the departed. That changed as Matt grew older. And instead of running from what he calls his gift, he embraced it, especially since Matt's mother, Angela, says she too is psychic. And so was her mother, Matt's late grandmother. Angela remembers what her mother told her at the hospital the day Matt was born. When she went to go see him in the hospital and they, the nurses put the baby in her arms, she looked at him and she says, Angela, he's one of us, you know. And I knew, I knew he would be um, a psychic as well. But he's very strong. My son is very, very gifted. I feel he's stronger than me now. Matt recently held an event in Manchester at the Radisson Hotel, where this crowd of folks came hoping to hear from a family member or a friend who died. Sometimes all it takes is a little nugget of information for people to believe. This woman wanted to hear from her grandmother. Who goes to the casino? Well, what's with the casino trips? My parents, her daughter, they go to Foxwoods all the time. Can you check to see what I have on the schedule for Monday? When Matt is not holding events, he and his mother share an office in the Boston area where they both conduct readings over the phone. We caught up with Matt to learn about what so many believe is his extraordinary ability. They come through in many different ways. Sometimes I'll, I'll hear voices or I'll hear, or I'll hear names, dates and places or other times they'll show, show me things. So the way that they kind of use me is just kind of as um, a channel to reach their loved one. So I'll feel things, I'll see things, I'll hear things. And any way that they can pass the message on to me, like when I felt your father, I felt it right in my chest, which was his way of just letting me know that that's how he had passed. Which brings us to what happened five minutes after I walked into Matt's house, when he looked at me and said he knew instantly my father had passed away. A lot of times they'll transition, like to when he was talking about you being by the water and like the family all together and music being played and things like that. It's the times that he's remembering and he also shows me card games here as well. Matt definitely stirred up real memories, but he acknowledges he expects many people to look at him with disbelief. Well, I think that everybody's skeptical at first. You know, when they want to, when they come to an event, they are absolutely skeptical because they want to know that, you know, what you're saying to them is the truth. They want validation. They don't want generalities. So I think it's absolutely healthy that people do walk in as skeptics because, you know, hearing from their loved ones really just changes things. You see the transformation that occurs hearing a message that brings them, that is so close to the heart. Okay, give me one second. All right, I definitely have a male that's stepping forward here that's around you. Was this your dad that passed? My brother. Your brother, okay. Because he steps forward like really protective over you like as I'm right here. And he definitely tells me here like there was nothing that you could have done before his passing. Matt's events almost always sell out. There is never a guarantee everyone in the room will get a reading. Matt says he is never sure who is going to come forward. And often more than one spirit comes through at the same time. Matt has an easy way about him and a sense of humor that puts nervous people at ease. So if anyone else wants to see it, do you have anything good in here? <laughs> we can look through. Oh, and I'm dropping everything as we're going. When Matthew walks into the room, you can feel his love. You know, he has that smile on his face, and he's just so full of love. And, and you see how the people, how they react to Matthew. They immediately get calmer and inner peace, and you can see it in the room. Nobody knows. Do you ever want to turn the voices off and say, I want to just, say about I need some, I need a break? Sometimes, sometimes it gets at that, gets to that point. But also, you know, I'm always there to listen as well. That would be her godson that's here in this world. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and listen, he did at the Radisson when Matt repeated something so personal about the tragic murder of this woman's sister. You could clearly see the impact. She definitely shows me handcuffs in front of me, which shows me here that it's all right. It's all right. Carmen Nunez believes with Matt's help she connected with her late sister and now she feels relief you know all this time you wonder 
you know, how is she, you know, did she go in peace, is she at peace now, because she didn't have any in this life, so it was my hope that in this afterlife that she is at peace and that she is happy. And that's the sense that I have today. I don't know why they choose to talk to me, but to be honest with you, I don't know where I would be without them because it's been such a major asset to my life, you know, to be able to help people. And it's so wonderful, you know, the, just the messages of comfort, joy, and inspiration that are passed on to the, those families here. And to see them getting closure and actually being able to connect with their loved ones again, it's just, it's a huge honor. Watching over us, protecting us.